strike this match. And I light our candle to alert our spirit guides that we're here, we're open, we're listening, and we're ready to receive the messages that are meant for us. I love to use that smoke to cleanse the air, to clear the air. Hey, how are you? It's your mama witch, Angela Mary. Hello, moon baby. So excited to gather with you in a really relaxed and casual way. I had up an Ask a Witch sticker on Instagram and I got so many questions, so many incredibly important questions, especially in this time where we're all feeling really tender. So grab something lovely to drink and let's dig in. I've got a really beautiful tarot deck to share with you and of course Moon Baby Magic Tarot. So let's hang out for a few minutes, okay? Some of the questions are really casual and fun and some of them have a little more oomph to them. They need and deserve to have the knowledge and wisdom of decades of tarot experience and some really gorgeous tools. So let's just jump right in. The first question is all about dealing with challenging people. This is a hard question, so we're going to dig right straight in. Okay, sweethearts. And I just want to show you real quick some of the things that we're going to be utilizing are honey. My brother's a beekeeper and this is their precious liquid gold. How incredible is that? Oh my goodness. We also have the magic of our tools. I absolutely, I've been talking about this on all my videos. I love this charm that I got from Sarah Lyon, who's an incredible artist and precious friend. And I went and got this zebra lanyard pen specially so I could utilize this pentacle charm. Isn't that great? I ordered some hair clips from Sarah and this charm was a surprise inside my package. It's so nice and zebra pens are one of my favorites. We're also going to talk about journaling, sweeties. We're going to talk about our book of shadows. Appropriately, my Hot Witch Summer journal is a kokuyo, which I love. I got it at my local Japanese market. Look at this. It's got beautiful rose gold tape binding. And I love this white quilting. Isn't that heaven? It's light as a feather. It traveled beautifully with me. My next video will be a journal with me video, which I'm excited about. So we'll get into that and we'll get into our tarot work at the same time. But I wanted to take a second and show you this heavenly candle that I got in Joshua Tree when we were out there for the full moon in June. I got a set of succulent and cactus candles and I can't even with the cuteness, I can't even with the tininess of it. I love miniature things. I want to show you in my hand so you can see. Can you even take it. Oh, and come to think of it, I got this silver ring, which has been incredibly empowering for me in Joshua Tree a couple of years ago. It was very fabulous find for me. It's been a shield for me. And I've got this brass ring too. This is Amanda Hunt jewelry, my serpent ring. And then this I thrifted in Joshua Tree in 2019 for me. How they sound together. This combination of rings has helped me so much to return to my body when the going gets kind of challenging. I've also got this little dried nosegay of flowers that we grow in my garden from my daughter. Isn't that beautiful? 
So I'm adorning this miniature candle with this beautiful little nosegay. And I have it on this little candle stand, this little, I guess you could call it like a little pedestal. And I treat it like a tiny altar. So let's get into our first question because it all relates. I want to just tell you that I'm going to hold people's identities because the work I do, I work in confidentiality. So I'm going to hold this person's identity to myself, but they're welcome in comments to jump in and reveal who they are and share any of the personal thoughts that they're having about this question or answer. How do you deal with an evil person in your orbit? I have someone who has done many layers of damage. Well, first of all, my soul goes out to you. My goodness. I offer you the strength of earth magic and pentacles that are on my little charm. And I have some real serious ideas about this. When you're dealing with someone that you are titling evil and they are in your orbit, which means they are moving to all sides of you that you can see and not see, and they have damaged layers, it means that they carry a place in your life that they are able to see you from all angles and the interior of you because you're talking about the many layers. So I want to tell you what I utilize when I am knowing I need to extricate myself from some relationship that is harmful on any level because there's so many levels that a relationship could not work anymore. And I'm, I'm in the midst of that myself right now. I pulled the magician card for you, which is adorned. This is from my Moon Baby Magic Tarot, which the backs of the cards are powerful because it shows the phosphorescence of the ocean that um, is many, many oceans. But I live near the beach in California. And this phosphorescence color is green kind of blue green teal and that's very uh, Venusian it's a Venus color that reminds me to return to my body because Venus rules the garden art money love and sex so Venus always reminds me to return to myself the magician keyword is conjure this moon phase is important because it is our really important waxing crescent moon where we nurture and protect ourselves. When those full lunation of eight phases of the moon are in our life and we observe them and we move through them consciously, we have the ability to literally take care of all parts of our body, mind, and spirit. So in that waxing crescent moon phase, we nurture and protect ourselves. Right? So I pulled the magician card from my Dag Moon Baby Magic Tarot and the brand new pocket size gentle tarot. Isn't that gorgeous? I love these cards together. Look how beautiful they look together. I want to show you. Bear with me as I one hand it because I just am so moved to hold my tiny mic. I'm just into my miniatures right now. Aren't those beautiful together? What do you think when you see the Magician card from the Gentle Tarot? You know what I see? An openness in both of those cards. A person who is opening themselves up to ideas, opening themselves up to their own ideas. And I urge you to get out your Book of Shadows and take care of yourself constantly very specifically, in the morning when you wake up, lay down before anything else happens, before your feet touch the ground, reach over for a favored pen, hopefully adorned with magic like my charm, and write, free write for three pages. It 
is life-saving and life-changing. It creates a cushion of magic around you. You desperately need it because this person has been titled, placed in orbit, and is seeping through many layers, as you have stated. So it's time for you now to begin to extricate yourself from that relationship from the inside out by recognizing who and what you are. Believe in the magic of three pages of free writing every morning before your feet touch the ground. Good luck. You can do it. This can be done. Uh, it sounds very entwined and entangled right now. So the second question is beautiful. I love it so, so much. Trying to keep going while dealing with smoke, wildfire, depression. Any tips, insights? Yes, I have pulled a card for you. We're all going through so many intense things right now. So I just want to send you a hug right now. I pulled the strength card for you from Moon Baby Magic Tarot. It's key eight. It reminds us of cycles. The moon phase on this card, the moon cycle on this card is the new moon, showing you initiating new things. What used to work before when dealing with depression and overwhelm needs to be spruced up, right? You've got to develop some strength at this moment, and I want to offer you the strength card from the wonderful Gentle Tarot. How gorgeous is that? I mean, look at this fabulous ancient creature who's far older than our species, diving deep and adapting. We need to adapt right now. We need to get lots and lots of rest. Again, look at these cards together. Are they so beautiful together? Adapt and get rest and be like the cat. And know when to hide. Find a comfortable place to stretch. Find a comfortable way to be quiet and dive deep, asking for guidance on how to adapt right now. So, sweethearts, the next question is so precious to me and sweet to me because it's very relatable, okay? It is love for a mama about to send her baby off to kindergarten in a COVID world. Thinking of you with tons of love and putting my arms around the whole garden of love of your life. Sweethearts, I pulled the moon card to answer that question about sending love to the mama. I love how that's stated. Sending their baby off to kindergarten in a COVID world. The moon card from Moon Baby Magic Tarot is precious to me because it shows St. Teresa on it. St. Teresa and my kitten Juniper that are all about outdoors, fresh air, peace and calm with those gigantic amethyst wings that I photographed over at Open Eye Crystals in Los Angeles. This is about connecting with your spirit guides. Surround your baby in guardian angels. Look at the moon card in the gentle tarot. Absolutely precious. Bathe yourself in the magic of lunar light. Find your individuation in this moment because you did ask about yourself. Right? So there's a singular figure in each of these cards. I love the complement of purple and green together. And I want to give you a special message about what it is to nurture your baby in times of challenge. Become the baby. You have to exist very specifically on their level and I know you can do it. So fire up that brew. Make a recipe each day, every day before they go to school. They take a sip of the brew, and when they get home from school, you get to make the fresh brew that overnight will be the brew they sip 
for personal empowerment and protection before they head off to school. This is a beautiful jar of honey from my beekeeper brother up in Northern California. This is from the Santa Cruz Mountains, so get yourself some local honey, which will give you really incredible personal um, immune kind of boosting antibodies because it's brought by the pollinators from your land, your area, okay? I've got a recipe for simple syrup that's over on my Patreon in my Hot Witch Summer PDF. If you are interested in this recipe, sign up for my Patreon, sweetheart, and just make so much of a fuss about the recipes you're creating in your kitchen with your babies right now. I hope that helps. A couple of fun questions is pulling a card for Juniper, which is a crack up to me. And of course, I have done that. I give you the world. This is from, of course, my Moon Baby Magic Tarot. I love it so, so much. It's so important to surround that with which you love and adore, with what they love and adore. All right, so this is the card for Juniper to have lots of treats, but it's a card for us to give lots of treats to everything we love, to surround it, adorn it, and sort of celebrate it in a framework, in a wreath of everything that they love. All right, so kind of being others focused. Uh, this is the world card from the Gentle Tarot. I love it so much. This pocket size is available exclusively at Kickstarter right now. I love Madi in the Sky. I support them on their Patreon. They're an incredible artist and friend. I love this little deck. It's so sweet. So let's go through and answer a couple more questions. Oh, someone wants to know what their future holds. I'm into it. I'm going to pull a Moon Baby Magic Tarot card. I'm going to take the responsibility for someone asking what their future holds. So much fun. You know, I don't consider myself a fortune teller. I'm a person that holds space for conversation for people who are open to spirit messages. So this is the King of Lasers, innovative. This is about firing from many cylinders. Your future holds a collaboration with your bespoke guardians and guides where you are creating many genres of your passions. They'll come together and people will be guided towards you because you're developing many, many methods. It's not just one method, it's many, many methods to create this laser focus that pulls folks towards you. So that's what I see in your future. Love it so much. Let's answer a couple more. I love this question. As a teen, how can witchcraft help me with changing times? Well, uh, the answer lies in the question, which is can be very annoying, but it's also freeing. All we have is change. And that's what I love about witchcraft so much. It's about being with energies that are present and summoning energies and amplifying energies of your desire and also escorting energies that are no longer working in your life right on out the door. So witchcraft is so honest because it has no dogma. It's not a religion for me. So you're free of this construct that's a very human construct. It's about bonding with the cosmos. It's about bonding with nature. You are nature and nature is change. That's what Latham Thomas said in the Many Moons Planner. It's about finding what you love and moving towards it more. I really love um, folks that want to collaborate with the seasons. That's huge for me, but there's just nothing like lunar magic. So learn the eight phases of the moon. In my Moon Baby Magic Tarot, I work with the eight phases of the moon on each card. And um, there's also keywords with those cards as well. So get into the lunar phase, all right? 
I hope you have a wonderful day. Please remember that magic is your birthright and everything's a spell. This is my spell. Take good care. When we wake, why? Why? Hear the birds and why? see the sun. <laughs> Side by side, oh, boy. Oh, I'm a higher breeze. Oh, the good times just was gone. Why? 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 I can't perceive how totally twisted backwards upside down because she really is. It's the family. I can't the Before I sleep, the crick gets sealed. Remember, is the paw still up? Side by side, never touch the ground. Still up. No limit to what and we can do. Oh, you're all right. You know, but we have good. let's hold on tight. You know, Found what we're looking for in life. More. Call us <laughs> crazy, but things are finally right. Thank you. With you and I, the future is bright. Two minutes and thirteen seconds in, girl. What is? Where is all this going, Jennifer? Yeah, look at it. Look. <laughs> yeah. We don't need no more. Did I look at it? Yeah, she, she found another way. She's like, and I'll twist my head. That is a double twist. You need all of the attention, not some of it, all of it.